feel it. The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. And on that note, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we have a little bit of work to do before we head out, but uh, we are going to head out very shortly. Uh, let's see. I was going to buy some abilities. I suppose it must be for one of the new kids. I think it's just the Hellion. Yeah, okay. So let me add Iron Swan. Yeah, I'm actually just going to unlock all of hers. Then... Um, does anybody? Yeah, so he needs that. I don't think she can. No. Anybody else? Blade? No, I already did him. And JP. Okay, so they're good for that. Now, the one other thing. I do want to unlock some new camping skills. This is where we're going to chew up some money. I honestly don't love, you know, a lot of the uh, occultists camping skills. A lot of them are things like that increase stress and that's kind of the opposite of what I really want. I'm going to leave pep talk for the moment. I may buy it later. But let's see. Um, I want this for sure. And not so much right now, so maybe that was a mistake in the short term. Yeah, um, see, we're already chewing through my money pretty quickly here. I know there's one that, um, yeah, prevents the ambush. So I want that one for sure. So ugh, I think I'm going to chill here. Let me see about her, because she's got some really good ones. I just got to make sure we get it. I always want encourage for pretty much everybody. Sharpen Spear is really good. Um, Battle Trance, I like a lot, too. Ooh, uh, All right. Well, I'm broke. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that, because that's going to make it very difficult uh, for me to buy provisions for this dungeon. Hmm. I tell you what, before we go in there, let's do this. Um, what are some of these that I don't really like? Um, these two I use, and I could see using that one for sure. I mean, early game, you know. So, 20% bleed resist. I'm never going to use this. I'm just not. At least I don't think so. Um, I don't think I'm going to be willing to lower my speed. What always worries me getting rid of something like this is that... I'll go into a dungeon where I really want to resist blight or something like that, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'll get rid of this too. All right. Now, I believe I do need to equip trinkets for some of my guys. Not all. Uh, but the thing is, she's... I'll give her the one for stun chance. And let's do this. I don't need that. Okay, hold on. Undo all these. I want this. I want Iron Swan. I want the stun. And I want the self heal. And I'm good with his. Yeah, I'm good with all the others. Uh, as far as these go right so i unlocked one new one so now he's got all four uh i want to get rid of one of these increase the stress by 15. okay wow 20 percent damage in four battles that's actually not bad though hang on just a second reduce torchlight by 100. yeah i'm gonna do that his camping 
I just need to find one of these. Yeah, I'll do that. And then for her, um, I don't really like Revel very much. I don't like losing accuracy or speed, let alone both. Okay, so we got that sorted. All we need to do is finish the trinkets. I don't have any equipped for my Houndmaster, and honestly, none of these are particularly good for him. But maybe what I could do, I have one that's a cultist only. So I'll do this. At least I'll cut down his stress. Done. Time to go. We need food. Um, I kind of want all the food. I want a stack of shovels. I want some herbs, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm low on money. I'm going to save some there. I need torches. Oh, boy. I mean, I need torches, so... Okay. I really need to bring some money home. I may actually have to prioritize uh, money over heirlooms on this one. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Okay. So we got a fight coming up almost immediately in this hallway. That's all right. We can take them, lads. I'll tell you what, I'll start off by giving her a good thumping. Destroyed. Indeed, she was destroyed. All right, we'll weaken him. You know, I'm actually thinking I'm going to do this. All these guys have stress. Are you kidding me? I didn't get one? You're supposed to have a 66% chance. That's crazy. Just chill out, boys. Chill out. So, I'm going to weaken the same guy again. That's basically just going to mean, you know, he's going to play patty cake with us. Yeah, this is stress heal. Come on, man. All right, that's better. <laughs> that was just weird that they all failed. Yeah, yeah. And there's stress, which... I didn't bring any bandages. Um, honestly, boo, 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 boo. I'm going to do this again. So, should I heal her? I think so. We're going to kill him next turn, by the way. I'm not going to do this all day. Um... So I'm actually going to do this just to put a little bit more damage. Because there's, yeah, there's just nothing else I can realistically do that's going to matter. You know, like... Alright, one more stress heal. Alright. Not the worst, not the best. Time to finish you boys off. I probably should have healed with eh, he didn't really need it. It's fine. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's probably a trick of the light, let's be honest. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Paid for in their blood, you mean? <laughs> okay wow what an awkward layout uh so i'm thinking we come across here 
and then come back. Wow. Yeah, this is going to just be... No, actually, it's less backtracking if I go this way. Hmm. That is kind of a bogus layout, but we will make do. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have anti-venom, so I'm not going to go in there. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. I'll do it. I'm going to roll the dice. This is probably very foolish. Eh, it worked out. Such a burden of finery risks life and limb. Yeah, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right, another shovel. is struck a blazing star is born I'll tell you one thing I think we're gonna um oh uh, doggone it I made the same mistake I keep picking this power forgetting that I can't use it outside of rank one or two all right well then look I'll just do this uh, yep kill one Another abomination cleansed from our lands Okay, short and sweet. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alright. Can you use a shovel here. Man, we've really gone through the shovels in this dungeon. Like it's crazy. Alright, I'm thinking it's dog biscuit time. So your job is to remind me. When I get to the Houndmaster, no excuses, you hear me? You need to remember. You al you already forgot to remind me to do Hands from the Abyss. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know what? Uh, if I hadn't done that, I could use Iron Swan right now. <laughs> uh, I'll just do this. We'll slow their roll. Hellions are really useful. And you know what I just realized? First of all, let me do that. Um, I did not rename my Hellion. Oh, I can't do it here. Wait, that's not true. Maybe I have to wait until it's her turn. Nope. Okay. All right, let's just get going. So I'm actually tempted to do Hounds Harry, but since she's already hurt, their formation is yeah. broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, we may experience some pain, but I'll weaken one of them. And. Neither one is stunned, so this is fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go for another stun because I don't think my odds would be that good. I could have done without that. Could have done without that a lot. I'm going to do this again. Well, uh, <laughs> Gotta keep him stunned. It's funny, he came in here in really bad stress heal shape, but she's the one who's taking the worst of it. Alright, that'll help a little. Yep. All right. Um, I'm not going to screw around. Now, if I get the chance. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do, honestly. Uh, 
This will probably be lethal anyway, yeah. If I could have, you know, I would have gotten to the point where my Houndmaster could go again, but... Okay, I'm probably just going to have to let that go. Because... Don't... Well, I can use this just to skosh early. Purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yep. Okay. Last room in this area, and now I get a torch. <laughs> Okay, that's if only treasure could staunch slightly the awkward, honestly. Worldly corruption. I'll let it go. Wealth beyond measure. <laughs> to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I'm not sure I'd say one torch is wealth without measure. You know what I should have done? I knew that was a torch. I should have just waited, waited until we came back through. I could take it now and use it again. Get back up to 100 life. That was silly. I just didn't think. Didn't think. So, I paid the price. I lost a torch. Honestly, we'll be fine even if we were fighting through here in the dark, I think. In Radiance, may we find victory. I don't want to talk trash, but I think we'd be okay. We would take more stress, though. And I would like to avoid that, if at all possible. Uh, I'm just going to have to let those go. Yeah, our pack's filled up early. I do still have a dog biscuit. You know, I think I'll just use it now. Um, I'll do this. And again, I forgot. Oh my god, I just keep forgetting this stupid thing. Uh, you know what? Let me just do this. Yep, that's fine. Confidence surges as the enemy We're wrecking these guys. Oh, the Hellion couldn't keep her end up. So here's where he, yeah, he does his special little trick. Jerk. Um, yeah, I'll just weaken him, I guess. We're going to kill all these guys. Although, you know what? I'm going to stress heal again. There you go. Alright. Um, he does a ton of damage, so I'll go after him. Oh god, he's going to do it again. <laughs> okay. Executed with impunity. Damn straight. The ground quakes. Alright. No more stress healing. Let's just finish the fight. Boom. Should I just camp? Mount, so too will resistance. Just to get the firewood out? I think that's stupid, to be honest. I'm not going to do it. I have some fairly low value crap. Okay, the crests I really need. Um, yeah, I think this is a dungeon where I'm just going to... Okay, here. I'm just going to get rid of the dog biscuit and take the crests. I'm going to get rid of the citrine and I'll take the deeds. Um, there's no point treating every little thing we get like it's the most precious thing ever. And we'll do fine in the fights without the dog biscuit. I'm going to have a spot empty where the torches used to be before too much longer. Alright. Kill this stupid artillery, please. Ah, oh, one short. And again. Again. I'm going to go through the whole dungeon. Yep. Wow, the whiff. Yeah, those are the two that I got to worry about. Okay. We can please... Now, everybody else. Well, it wasn't a great start, but. It's one down. 
And they don't have that cytosis or whatever it was called. I forget. But what I'm saying is they can't multiply. And I like that. I like doing 20 some damage with one shot too. They can be beaten. Well, I would take it if I had extra room, but I don't. And realistically, I'm probably not going to bring a stun trinket for a grave robber anyway. I'd probably be trying to do more damage, if anything. Alright, let's keep moving. The light, the promise of safety. Here, doggy doggy. Alright, we're going to have a good first turn. Oh, you didn't kill him! Well, that's alright. It worked out. Oh! Wow, that sucks, because now two of them get to attack instead of one, but at least we got to dodge. That's kind of fitting, because it is your fault that you know, we had to take two attacks. That's all I'm saying. Ouch. Now he's paying the price. It sucks so bad when they go last one turn and first the next. Alright. Well. Okay. All right, uh, no, he can get the kill. Back to the pit. Blade. He's the man. Okay. This Is it time to Put camp? To the tasks. I've got four rooms left. The problem is I'm just getting really light on space. So, I kind of like that idea. I could lose the holy water. But, I mean... Yeah, we'll see. I, I'll wait, I guess. Oh. Crap. Oof. Okay, no, we're okay. We're okay. So, I did waste a shovel, unfortunately. So maybe what I'll do is when I get to here. Yeah, I want to clean out space for the secret door. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of stuff I don't want to get rid of. That's what it's going to come down to. Which is honestly pretty common when you're doing a medium length dungeon, let alone a long one. Um, hard choices, but that's what makes an interesting strategy game. Uh, crap. I'm going to have to let that one go and use my last shovel here. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to get genuinely peeved at myself. Because of this. This hands from the abyss idiocy all right get rid of hands from the abyss get rid of hands from the abyss get rid of hands from the abyss i'm just gonna keep reminding myself get rid of hands from the abyss brother well that wasn't great i should have gone after the wounded one but because he was debuffed i wanted to kill the other so, not great. Hands from the Abyss. Don't forget to get rid of Hands from the Abyss. Uh, sure. Triumphant Thank God. A dizzying fall. I mean, sure. Okay. Yeah, we're going to camp in here. Okay. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Okay. Um Yep. All 
All right, for all intents and purposes, that's the end of that. Now, I want to prevent the nighttime ambush. What do I got left? Four. So... Let's... Yeah, see, I really want this against uh, when we fight the hag. That thing that gives you a bonus against... Uh... Yeah, I'll do this. That's fine. And I doubt I have one that only takes one. Yeah. We're good. We move on. So I freed up two spots. Which, you know, that's not bad. Um, I got a lot of heirlooms. A decent amount of loot. Man, yeah. Probably going to have to lose the holy water, unfortunately. Do I want to mess with the tree? I got lucky once. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I don't want the negative stuff that comes with it. That's the problem. Without the correct item to interact, you have a very good chance. Oh my god. Now it must be carried home. Okay, these are all really good. Um, I'm gonna lose the holy water. That was that was a nice find. These are like real staples. I'll give this to like a crusader or a man at arms, you know, whoever's tanking. And that'll help keep them alive. It's especially good, I feel, for man-at-arms. And then this is just great. You give this to your Vestal, you know, or um, your occultist if he's the one healing. And Like I say, they're just staple items that you use all the way through to the end game. So that was a really good chest. Okay. Um, nice. So I am, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mark one of these guys. See if the hound will have a little bit better luck. Yep, he did lethal damage that way. And then she has not necessarily been dealing. She does 6 to 12, so I could do lethal. But you know what? Just to be safe. This way I know I won't get hit. And now I got the whole squad, you know, that can tee it up. So that's fine. I'll even mark it, which is kind of funny. Because <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Let's see if I can get rid of the last stress on those two. Well, I got rid of hers. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, now, by the way, I did get a tip from somebody saying, like, you know, you can lower your torchlight to zero before you open a chest. I'll tell you why I don't do that. Uh, you do that if you're getting ready to leave the dungeon. Because I don't like giving myself a reward when I'm not willing to take the risk. So if I did the fight with no torchlight, my enemies would be tougher. We would take more stress, all that. And then I'll take the reward. But when I don't do that, then I'm just literally like gaming the system. I'm, I'm much more interested in like taking on the challenge. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm not willing to fight the tougher battle, then I don't want to give myself a reward for it. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but I just wanted to get that out there. I appreciate tips like that. I really do. And I'm not putting anybody down who, you know, does like to play that way. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have holy water on me anymore. Uh, that's what I need to interact with this. Uh, crap. I don't have a shovel. And I don't know if I want to take on the stress. There's no, well, there could be something in this area, but I think I'm just going to go. I've got everybody down to basically no stress. I don't want to screw it up. Partly, too, because 
this group is probably who I want to bring to fight the hag. So I just want to get him some experience. And if I get a bunch of stress here at the end, um, I don't want to get on a path to where now I have to put people, you know, in the tavern or whatever. And then they can't go adventuring to get experience. So Blade is done. I won't level him up again until we, after we fight her. Uh, I don't. I don't want anybody over level three. I'm thinking if I could get um, my Hellion and Houndmaster up to level two, I'd probably be ready to go. Risk and reward. A siren's call to the enterprising stalker. Right, okay, so we got a couple new bounty hunters. Fair enough. So, and my gold is back up to 13,000, which is something. Uh, hang on a second, though. Let me think for a second. I wanted to upgrade my roster size. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. I don't have enough crests to do anything like this. Um, what about the blacksmith? I can do this, and I will. Yeah. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. So what's going on in here? Where were the... Oh, did I have to... Oh, hold on. Okay, so I can take them. I mean, I guess I could take a second bounty hunter. I definitely don't want more than two. I like them, but roster spots are precious. Like, we keep bumping against that limit. Um... I mean, sure, I guess. I mean, I could always lose Blade when we fight <laughs> the Hag. <laughs> Hopefully not. Promise of payment. All right, again, that's enough. So now let me pay attention to who's in here. Oh, beautiful, an arbalist. So we don't have one. We definitely want one. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. The dancing steps of war and I'm good with that I think we're we're fine um so let me do this I know we already finished the dungeon but before I forget let me rename our hellion uh so there we go and whoops crap okay there we go Adelino so there's another subscriber name set and um, again I'm just re I'm waiting to rename other people until we take them out when we take people out for the first time you know I'll absolutely do that uh, so anything in here I don't really have a lot of money so yeah this would almost tempt me, but not for 15,000 gold. I don't have it anyway. Okay, so we are getting close. I think what we'll do when we come back is maybe we'll do one more. Oh, this would be a long dungeon, so that would be interesting. Uh, I could also try going somewhere else. We don't have to keep doing the wield. I could probably bring the Hellion and the Houndmaster to the Warrens. We could see that for the first time. And uh, maybe I'll bring the man at arms on that one. And some, maybe somebody else new as well. And, you know, keep trying to mix it up and, and keep things a little bit fresh as we move forward. So let's plan on doing that. We'll try to go to the Warrens next time. All right. Oh, maybe I'll bring the Antiquarian. Oh, uh, the Warrens is probably not the best place for that. I do want to bring the Antiquarian on a run. They're really good for building up gold. But, um... I'd probably rather do that in the ruins, maybe. Okay, well, enough chit-chat. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.